Hi there everyone and a very warm welcome to our daily devotions today, Friday the 8th of May. We begin our time together with an opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, all good, all true, all powerful, almighty, we worship you. Gracious God, all loving, all merciful, all faithful, all compassionate, we thank you. Mighty God, always active, always leading, always calling, always knowing, we commit ourselves to you. Saving God, always forgiving, always restoring, always teaching, always encouraging, we confess our faithlessness to you. Sovereign God, all in all, now and always, we praise you, we worship you, we lift our hearts before you. Father God, we celebrate your goodness, we rejoice in your blessings, we marvel at your mercy, we thank you for your guidance, we offer our lives in response to you. Living God, take our time together today. Take the rest of this entire day. Take our lives. Use them for your purpose and for your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Acts chapter 8 When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers there, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on any of them. They had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Psalm 42 As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. 
Where can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love. At night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God my rock, Why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. Our closing prayer for today is all about our need of God and also the fact that God needs us. Let's pray together. Living God, unashamedly we declare our needs of you. We need your love, your help, your strength. We need your mercy, your forgiveness, your renewing. We need your guidance your encouragement, your inspiration. We need your support, your comfort and your peace. In so many ways, we need you. For without you, our souls are restless, our lives impoverished, our destiny hopeless. Living God, we thank you that you respond to our needs reaching out with immeasurable love, with constant compassion, with unfailing goodness. But we thank you too that, incredibly, you are a God who has need of us, a God who has chosen to make yourself dependent on human cooperation. You need our faith, our trust, our commitment, you need our hearts, our minds, and our souls. You need our hands, our feet, and our actions. You need and you desire our worship, our service, and our witness. Living God, we marvel that you need us as much as we need you. But we thank you for that great truth that awesome privilege, that amazing responsibility. Help us to honour the trust you have placed in us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>